Hello, it's me. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we got some more NCAA 06, and I'm excited for today's episode. Gonna be taking on Ohio State, man. We got our first win versus Illinois. Then we came back. We played very well versus Iowa. They're the, they they are the number one team in the nation. They did beat us, but we did play pretty well. Today we have a big receiver, 6'5", 207 from Indiana. He's looking at Notre Dame and Iowa. Hopefully we can sign him on the dotted line today. Today he's coming to town. Today hopefully we can play pretty well. Verse number 23, Ohio State, who is 0-3. In Big Ten plays. They're looking for their first Big Ten win of the season. Is it going to come today? I hope not. Simpson, he's not going to get loose. He gets dropped at that, what, 18 yard line. Now it's going to be third down and nine. Looking down, fielding that pass will be caught. So we do pick up the first down. We convert on third down. We're going to get the ball to Stokes. And Stokes trying to get loose. And he does for a first down. Move those chains. From the 42 yard line, Muse. And the homie Muse to the 40, Muse to the 30, and gets hit in his leg, and he would actually be out for like the rest of the first quarter, halfway through the second quarter, when they expect him to come back in this one. Pitts makes the catch. He's one of the best. He's one of the best receivers in the Big Ten, but Ohio State has two of them. Ted Ginn Jr., all kinds of speed, racing upfield, and gets this one to the 36-yard line. And they got the homies, Santonio Holmes, all right? So Smith... He's going to run the ball, and Troy Smith picks up around one. Pittman, he is hurt, so it's Lundy. He gets the carry. Third down and nine for Ohio State. They take a shot deep, and the pass will fall incomplete. Holmes couldn't catch up to that one. We run the ball with Stokes. And if you think Ohio State's offense is impressive, their defense is just as impressive, if not more. So that pass will fall incomplete on third down. So Ohio State takes over. Lundy going to get thrown to the turf by Dean. Gain of one. They fake it to the fullback. They pitch it out to Lundy, and he's loose. Can we catch him? He races inside the 30, fumbles it inside the 20, and nobody wants to jump on the football, and it finally rolls out of bounds. From the 18, they run the ball, and Lundy trying to get upfield, and he does for another first down. They fake it to Thibodeau. They pitch it to Lundy, and they go backwards. So can our defense get a stop? Smith has time, fires it from the pocket, and it's going to be broken up. Great coverage as they try to find Santonio San Holmes. We were straight hating on him, and now they got to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is going to be good. So Ohio State is finally on the board with three. Seven to three is the score. We're going to run the option with Smith. He's, our, I think, our fifth-string receiver. He's like our punt returner, kick returner. He has some juice. Until Muse is healthy and ready to rock and roll, he's going to be our option quarterback. Reese with a perfect pass to Pitts. Now he hands the ball to Stokes. Stokes to the 40. Stokes running with the purpose inside the 20 and caught by the ankles as the first quarter comes to an end. So first down and 10 from the 18. Reese throws that thing. That pass is going to be caught by Pitts. Looking downfield. Now we're going to run it with Stokes yet again. Makes a man miss and powers his way to the one-yard line. Second down to goal. Smith is in. Running the option game. Touch down. And that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Holmes trying to get busy. And San Antonio. Holmes set up 40. Crosses midfield. And I don't think, I don't think nobody going to catch that young man. No, we are not. No, we are not. Touchdown. And the Buckeyes keep it a four-point game. We've thrown it to Pitts, who can't make the catch. You don't see that too often. Now we're looking downfield with Reese. Throwing it to Stokes. And he has the case of the dropsies as well. I guess it is contagious. You better mask up. Anyways, man, third down and three. They're going to run the ball. No, faking it. Smith is intercepted. It's tipped. It's not going to be intercepted. It goes into the hands of Washington. We had our Washington had a chance to intercept that thing two times and decided just to tip it in the air like we're playing volleyball. That's not what you're supposed to do. Second down and five. Smith going to tuck it and run it. He's going to fall forward for a first down. First down and tip from the 18-yard line. They fake it. Smith under some pressure and down he goes. Third down and 17. Smith's going to keep it himself. Jones is there for the stop. Good tackle. They're going to set up for three. And the kick is no good. 
So we continue to lead. Even if we got the field goal, it would have still been down, but it would have been a one point lead. Instead, we are still up by four. Second down and five. Smith in the ball game. Again, the boy got some genius in his ankles. Looking to cross people up. Picks up the first down. Reese dropping back. Throws it to Ryan at the first down marker, but going to mark him a yard short. So we need three feet on this play. And number 33 goes backwards about three yards. Not a good look. We got to punt the ball away. Ted Ginn Jr. is in the zone. Breaks that tackle. Picks up a big time block. And now he's down the right sideline. 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, J.R. So we are down now. Muse is back in the ball game. Picks up four. Second down and six. We fake it just to get sacked. Just to fumble the football. And now they have a chance to score before the second half is up. Troy Smith from the pocket. Let's it fly to the right side. The ball gets tipped up in the air as he was looking for again. And that pass be ruled incomplete. They fire it again over the middle. We bring him down before he can cross the goal line. So first and goal for the Buckeyes. Smith decides to tuck it and run headed to the end zone. Touchdown. And that's going to do it for the first half. So 24 to 14 is now the score. And this team is trying to take over the ball game. If we can get a stop here, our chances will improve. But being down by two possessions already, if they score, it could be all she wrote because our offense has sputtered to say the least. So third down and two, big play right here to give it to Thibodeau and he's gonna cross the cross the first down marker and that's gonna lead to a first down. Give it to Lundy, he is loose. Trying to strafe for Jones. Was not going to get the job done. He's too quick. He's too fast. He's too good. Second down to goal. They fake it to the fullback. They run the triple option and option number two. Keep it with the QB. Works just fine. So 31-14 is the score. And Stokes gets brought down quickly. Reese rolling to the left side. Still rolling. Throws it to Pitts. And he drops another one. Third down and 13 from the 33. Play action. Looking downfield, we throw it, it's caught by Pitts inside Buckeye territory, runs a man over, and he's up to the 30-yard line. Second down and 10. Reese, looking downfield, still looking, now he's going to get hit, and we are now looking at third down and 19 from the 39. We got to get to, what, the 20-yard line, and that's not going to happen as we get sacked. So we put the ball away, we pin him inside the 10. Smith, he's going to keep it, Jones is there for the stop. And they need about a couple of inches. Second down in inches. They're going to pitch it to Lundy. Lundy gets upfield. Brought down by Slaughter. And they're starting to run away with this one. Literally, when they can move the ball on the ground, the clock keeps moving. The ball keeps matriculating up and down the field. And our hopes keep dwindling. They're going to give the ball to Washington. On wide receiver, or tight end screen, I should say. They pick up four. Again, they hit us with a triple option. The blocking is stupendous. The running by Troy Smith is outstanding. And that leads to a first down. From the 27, Lundy to the outside. This ahead of steam. Bouncing off of would-be tacklers, and he's into the end zone again, and now it's 38-14. to 14. We Believe it or not, we had the lead in this game at one point. There goes Pitts. He finally hangs on to the football, and he takes it to the crib. Touchdown, Indiana. The Hoosiers are not going down without a fight. Holmes breaks a tackle. Holmes crosses the 40, and Holmes gets close to the 50 before he gets brought down at the 49. They're going to run the ball. Lundy. Gets upfield and he crosses midfield and that's going to do it for the fourth, for the third quarter, excuse me. We head to the fourth quarter. Washington is there for the stop and on third down he got to get off the field. So we're going to run the ball with Stokes. Try to get one of our best players going and it might be too little too late to try to establish a ground game. I'm just saying. Then we come back and we get sacked. Wilson with the, I believe his third sack of the ball game. Not a good luck. Looking downfield. That pass is tipped. It looked like Stokes had a step. But when he can't get the ball to him, it don't matter how far ahead of the defense he is. Second down and Uno. There goes Thibodeau. Right up the gut. The big fullback. Beast and feast and rumbling, bumbling and stumbling for a first down. London to the left side. He's going to pick up nine. From the 28. They give it to Thibodeau again. And Washington is there to bring him down. So third and inches. We can home to a field goal. I mean, crazy things have happened, right? But we don't home to a field goal as they pick up a first down. So we got a trial over again on first and 10. They're going to pass that thing to Lundy. He makes the catch, moves upfield. They throw the ball. No, they run the ball, excuse me, to Thibodeau. He's going to pick up a solid game. 
third and goal now from the one. Give it to the big fullback. Why not? 44 to 21. Tackle on the PAT. 45 21 is your final. Could we go just with one win this whole season? I don't know. But it's really looking that way. And I hope it isn't that way. We were hanging tough with Ohio State. And then their talent and maybe their play calling outdid our play calling and outdid our talent. Um, it does not get too much easier from here. Um, I believe I misspoke. Last episode when I said that we had uh, Michigan State. Obviously, we played Ohio State today. So, that's my mistake at the end of last episode. Next episode, though, we do play good old Michigan State. So, it should be a good one. Hopefully, we can get an upset because they are ranked in the top 10. We did land our receiver, Jason Miller. He's coming to town. So, that should help our C overall offense, as you can see right there. Michigan State, number 10, number 8, excuse me, in the nation, 7 and 0. Oh. They're balling. They're doing their thing. We're on a two game losing streak. Can we end that? I hope so. Peace, love. Hot sauce.